My name is David Sasaki. I'm a program officer on the Transparency, Participation, and Accountability team that's part of the Global Development and Population Program at the Hewlett Foundation in California. We want to know what's working and in which context. So doing research both on the front end for design research and then after the fact to see what has worked well and what hasn't is really important for us. I think we look for in organizations and projects the right balance between very clear plans on what the project hopes to achieve and also the flexibility and adaptability to change to different circumstances which always happens in every project. So for us, for our strategy, uh, we're particularly interested in how to improve public services so that people have better quality education, better health services, better water and sanitation. So that's the real impact. And the process is what is the role of people participating to bring about better services and government responsiveness to respond to those demands of people. In terms of civic technologies, it's, it, the technology interests me less than the responsiveness that comes about. So whether there's a response on Yelp, or on a civic tech app or a 311 platform, it's actually getting a response from a government official that I think is rewarding in the end. I'm really interested these days in something that's not that new. It's been happening for 10 or 15 years, but participatory budgeting I think has been shown to be promising in a lot of different places. A lot of research coming out of Brazil and Peru and South Africa, um, and then social audits, which have been happening in India forever. So I think what we're seeing that works is community organizing, just getting people to come together and demand more from their governments. What's difficult is how to do that at scale. It takes a lot of resources. I have read a lot of the research and a lot of the papers that have been presented here at Tic Tech, but there's something about meeting the people who have done the actual research that makes it much more tangible, I think. And also to hear the stories of how the research came about and what the effect has been within Facebook, for example, um, or the academic community, or how some of the practitioners have used the research uh, to inform the way that they design other interventions. So being able to meet people face-to-face -face has been really rewarding.